Okay, hello again. It's Richard here at uh, Production Room again. Uh, now we are going to look at setting up a MIDI track within Cubase, which is nice and straightforward. Now I've got here a Novation Launch Key 49, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have got also. Um, it's nice because you can just plug it in and it works. And generally, most MIDI keyboards now are USB and plug and play, so you need not install them. You just need to plug them in, make sure they're powered up, and go. Now, if you watch the cursor down here, I've got a microphone plugged in at the moment, which is metering on here. If I shut up a minute and press a key on my keyboard, this happens. That is a MIDI response in the transport panel there. So we know that MIDI is coming into Cubase, which is good news because that is all you have to do. Now to set a MIDI track up, uh, we're going to right click on here and uh, add MIDI track there. So let's add one. In fact, let's add about four. One, two, three, four. So there they are. MIDI one, MIDI two, MIDI three, MIDI four. Now I'm going to rename them by double clicking on that MIDI 01 there because otherwise it gets a bit messy with MIDI 96. So I'm going to call that drum kit. I'm going to call the second one piano. I'm going to call the third one bass. And the fourth one, let's say, uh, no, roads, I think. Let's make this funky. Okay, so that I've got four MIDI tracks. At the moment, you will hear nothing, because all we've done is created them and named them. Now we need some sounds. So again, devices menu at the top, open it up, VST instruments. Now some fun stuff in here. So on the right hand side, it says rack instruments, so that's what we want. So here are all the instruments I've got. Uh, some of the stuff is from Complete 9, which is rather nice. Uh, we'll use all sorts. In fact, Halion Sonic is quite nice. You get that actually within Cubase software. You get it free in Cubase, which is great. It's quite nice because it's a 16 parts multi timbral synth. Now here it's asking me, do I want to create a MIDI track assigned to the plugin? No, thank you, because I've already done that. So cancel out of that and it will open it up for us. Here it is. Now you've got 16 channels in here, and you can open this plugin 64 times in Cubase, so you can see the flexibility there. It defaults to a sound called First Contact, but I don't want that. I want a bass guitar sound, so let's have a look. It's all categorized here, so Dark Precision, that'll do. Okay, so I've now loaded that uh, Dark Precision bass sound into channel 1. This is important to remember channel 1 of Halion Sonic SE. So when I go over to my bass track, I need to go over here now where my cursor is. Now that's your MIDI inputs and that's our MIDI outputs. So if I click on MIDI inputs, it says not connected. It says all MIDI inputs and then Liquid 56 MIDI, which is the um, traditional MIDI on the back of my interface and launch key. So what we want is all MIDI inputs because everything I've got connected will now play that precision bass sound. So if I had 14 MIDI keyboards plugged in, I can play that sound from any one of them. Now underneath that is the uh, MIDI outputs. At the moment it's um, got the Liquid 56 MIDI. We don't want that. We want Halion SE. So we click on that. So now all MIDI inputs are playing Halion SE. Problem is we're on channel 3 at the moment and if you remember our bass sound is on channel 1. So we need to switch that over to channel 1 so we can hear the bass. Here we go. Right, our bass sound is there. Good news. Right, let's put a drum kit on. Let's open a new one. So I'm going to close that window for a minute. And instruments again. Uh, let's use Contact, which has got some absolutely fantastic drum kits in. Uh, do I want to create a MIDI track? No, because I've got it already. So it should open uh, Contact. Uh, what's nice? Abbey Road drums are pretty good. Uh, dry kit. Right, same again. It's sequentially defaulted to channel one because it's the first plugin in contact we've opened. So if I go to my drum kit channel, uh, all MIDI inputs is fine. Let's go now. It suddenly appeared in the MIDI list. So let's have contact and number one. Yeah, that's fine. So there's our drum kit. Excellent. So we need a piano. So let's close that down for now. Uh, okay, yeah, Addictive Keys. Addictive Keys, by the way, has got the greatest upright piano sound I've ever heard. So let's have a quick look at that. 
uh, upright piano yeah it's got some very nice stuff in here let's choose modern upright there we go that'll do and okay that uh, now it's got our piano MIDI track select addictive keys which has just appeared because we opened it channel one and finally a Fender Rhodes so we'll have that out of in fact we'll have that out of contact again I'll open a new one so I've got two versions of contact now uh, vintage keys and nice Fender Rhodes let's close that folder down right so let's close that window so on my first channel I have a drum kit I have a piano on my second channel I have a bass guitar on my third and oh I've forgotten to assign it contact 5 channel 1 yeah Fender Rhodes so uh, we've got four sounds and four MIDI channels <laughs> 